Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little comparison video here between the Galaxy S5 Mini and the LG G2 Mini, which was a phone that came out this year in April 2014. Uh, and then we had the S5 Mini here that just came out in certain regions. It's not available all over the place, but available in many places. Um, so let's uh, take a look at them. First thing, of course, you can see is that they have a pretty, pretty similar size. Uh, and I think we can actually see that the display on the DS, LG G2 Mini is getting some problems sometimes and per perhaps not as sharp as the AMOLED display here that we're going to get here uh, on the um, S5 Mini. So first of all, a 720p display here uh, on the S5 Mini, which means it has higher pixel density, 326 pixel density, very, very similar to the 5S iPhone 5S, a 4.5 inch display, so it's a little bit smaller here uh, compared to the G2 Mini here, which comes with a 4.7 inch display. Uh, but then also remember that the um, the G2 Mini has these buttons built into the display. So that means that you get a little bit less uh, screen space uh, compared to the um, S5 Mini, which has all of these uh, buttons uh, on the outside. Uh, multitasking button here, back key there, and a fingerprint sensor here also, so you'll be able to unlock your device uh, with the fingerprint technology uh, that we do have in here, finger scanner. Works also to pay with PayPal, very interesting, I never tried it though. Uh, this one, of course, very, very edge to edge, you don't have any buttons outside here. Uh, you do have an interesting design thing here though, both are of course plastic phones here, but uh, you can see that all of the buttons here on the uh, G2 Mini is on the back here, so you have a start button that you can just tap again to turn off and turn on. Very nice. You also have tap, knock, tap here to unlock the display I think, yeah, to both turn the phone off and turn on. And I gotta say it's pretty comfortable actually to have these uh, on the back, it's really not that bad because usually you have your hand over here and you have volume up and down keys, uh, which is quite comfortable actually. Uh, on the S5 Mini here you also do get a heart rate sensor here. Uh, so you can measure that with the S Health app. Uh, you have a normal camera and then you have a standard uh, power button here and volume up and down keys as we usually do have on a lot of phones. You can also see it has an opening down here but it should still be IP67 certification which means that it should be dust and water resistant so pretty good protection against that. And you can definitely see that we have that here on the inside protection layer here. I should protect you from water, but I'm not really not sure about this. I've read an article that it was some kind of coating that he might use, some kind of protection inside here uh, to protect against water. Maybe it's similar to technology that he used up here. Uh, but yeah, that's quite nice. You can see an you know, IR sensor here, so you probably will be able to control your TV as well uh, with this one. Uh, if you take a look at some of the more internal side here of the phones, of course LG's own UI, Samsung's own touch with UI here, uh, but uh, overall they have a pretty familiar UI in a lot of ways. I do think though that the G2 Mini got still a little bit of an outdated UI, especially if you look here, it just looks a little bit outdated here, I think, a little bit like Android 2.3 or something, it looks really, really old school. Uh, versus this little bit more, I guess, a modern UI that you do get here uh, on the S5 Mini. And then especially you can see it here inside the settings area. I mean, it just looks so much better here uh, on the um, uh, on the S5 Mini. I don't think that many people would say uh, other uh, about this, but uh, the G2 Mini definitely performs well, doesn't have any major problems. Uh, some big things here are different. Here you get Google Glass 3, here Google Glass 2. Uh, you do also get uh, 16 gigabytes of internal storage on this S5 Mini versus only 8 gigabytes on the G2 Mini. So way less games you will be able to install on the G2 Mini. Uh, you do have an 8 megapixel camera on both these two devices here. Uh, still, you have a little bit of that old school UI here. And it, something looks a little bit weird. Uh, doesn't seem to be have the best focus or I don't think the camera is really that good as the one you're gonna get here on the S5 Mini. 
is the sharpness and everything is so much better here on the uh, on the uh, on the S5 Mini. Uh, quick different modes here for HDR mode, the continuous shot, uh, different modes that will fit your needs. So that's a big thing. Also, the camera seems to be way better. Uh, the chipset here is Samsung Exynos 3470, and here we do have Snapdragon 400. I think it's good that Samsung has made their own chipset inside of this one because I think that uh, they have a little more control over the experience and uh, seems to be performing really well. So, quad core 1.4 gigahertz here, quad core 1.2 gigahertz here, but it's quad A7, and A7 usually doesn't perform that well. Uh, but it performs pretty good actually here in the menus and stuff like that But uh, in games it's probably going to be a big difference between these two devices uh, I don't know 305 GPU here, which definitely performs pretty nice uh, in most games But the thing is that this device has a quad core of the 2 gigahertz only quad is a7 Which could be a real really downside with this phone uh, Mala 400 GPU instead of the S5 Mini, which means it performs both good in GTA games like GTA Y2T, GTA 3, GTA San Andreas as well as game of games like Asphalt 8 and, and like Need for Speed games and a bunch of other games like that. So that's definitely a go. Cool thing here though about the G2 Mini is that it has a little bit bigger battery life, uh, 2440 milliamps versus uh, only 2100 milliamps here on the S5 Mini. But overall, I would say that I mean the S5 Mini is just a clear winner in a lot of aspects like this IP67 certification, fingerprint re sensor, the 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and definitely the camera and uh, the gaming experience overall is going to probably be much nicer so uh, yeah but there's definitely a price difference between these two devices so uh, now you know about that hopefully you did enjoy